welcome back to my channel. So yes, my family and I are moving. We are moving out of this apartment and into a basement suite of my parents' house. Um, they were kind enough to rent it out to us. Um, we had talked about it a bit before, but um, we knew we needed to wait because my parents were still getting things set up and um, you know, stuff like that, and they recently told us that they were ready to rent it out to us. So, I'm really excited. Um, so, I figured I would talk a little bit about why we are wanting to move out of this place and to there. Um, one reason, because we're on the third floor of this apartment building right now. In the summer, like right now, it gets real hot. <laughs> it gets really hot. And we have a good air conditioner, but with the way the apartment is set up, um, this bedroom doesn't get very much um, cool air and it can kind of fight the air conditioner a little bit, making it less effective. So that that's one thing. Two, no elevator. So we have to carry a whole crap ton of groceries up three flights of stairs and that gets exhausting to do like every week. Three. This neighborhood isn't really that safe. Um, I mean, like, it's fine. It's kind of, like, bordering on the hood. We've, we live pretty close to a bar, um, and so we've seen our fair share of, um, problems of people arguing, getting into fights, um, and recently it's been happening a bit more. Um, there have been a few times when we've had to call the police. Uh, to come and um, take care of it and talk to them and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not the safest place. Um, I mean, in this city, it's kind of hard to find a good neighborhood anyways. A lot of it is in the hood. Um, and usually if you're out of it, it's like you're really rich <laughs> and you're living in what my parents and I call millionaire estates where like these big luxurious houses and stuff like that that cost a fortune. Um, so my parents house now, they recently moved and they, um, they live in a, a bit better of a neighborhood, not as much, um, problematic activity happens there. Um, they did have one incident since moving there in February, but that was like a month ago or so. I think. I don't remember. Anyway, um, and so where is where we live right now, there's been like probably five, six, maybe more incidents um, here uh, where we live right now since February. So it's considerably uh, less safe here. I mean, yeah, it's not like terrible, but there are places in town that are worse. But anyway, and the fourth reason is because um, we've had to deal with um, a lot of bugs in this apartment. Um, the main ones, I'm so sorry, <laughs> the main ones that have been a problem are cockroaches. And these are, um, oh shoot, what are they called? They're like European cockroaches, I think. They're not like the American ones, the, the really big like brown ones. They're smaller and they're kind, they're still brown, but they're, they're quite a bit smaller and um, they're just a different species. So like taking care of them is a little bit different. Um, we've had to have um, pest control come in quite a few times to kind of take care of it um, and so we've had to like get all of our stuff packed up pushed into the middle of the room and then they take um, their their um, poison and spray it around the um, like baseboards and walls and stuff like that and we've had to figure out like a place to stay um, during that time and because we have a four-year-old and a cat we wanted to give it a bit of extra time we wanted to stay away two days instead of the um like 24 hours that they recommended or i think it was less than 24 hours i think it was like 12. um but we wanted to give it as much time as possible because we didn't we don't want either of them getting sick 
Um, for my husband and I, it would have been fine to go back sooner if it had just been the two of us, but we didn't want to take that chance with our daughter and um, our cat. So that has happened, I think about four times they've had to come in. When I went down to um, have my surgery done, my hysterectomy, um, or since we've been back, I should say, uh, since we've been back, we haven't seen a single cockroach in our unit, um, but the other day I did see one in the hallway. So they're still lurking around. They're probably gonna have to do another spray soon, um, but I'm hoping it won't be until after we're out of here. Um, our plan is to um, move in September 1st, so it is July 17th today, so we still have a while. We wanted to get this in the works now and we have have it set for September instead of August because we want to take our time with this because with you know packing up and stuff like that. A lot of our stuff is still packed up from the last spray that they did like April before I went for my surgery. I think March or April. Um and uh, so we still have some stuff packed up from that, so that's a little bit easier. But whenever we've had to pack up our stuff for the for the bug sprays, um, it's always been very rushed. We've usually only gotten like just a few days notice when they're technically supposed to give them more than that, but like, what can you do? So we, won't, we don't want to rush and push ourselves because my husband and I both struggle with chronic pain and it's not easy to rush and do all of that work within the span of a few days. So we just want to take our time, listen to our bodies, and we're going to be bringing over the first box today. Um, I'll at least either today or tomorrow, uh, depending on how we're feeling. Our plan is today, but that might change. Once we get, once my parents have their stuff kind of out of the um, basement suite and we can start bringing stuff in, then I'll show you, um, show you guys what that, um, what our new place is going to look like. So we're very excited and um, yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, so we ended up not um, bringing over a box yesterday, but um, that's because it's not as full as we were thinking. We are going to add some more to it um, and then kind of bring it over. But we did sign the uh, rental agreement now, so now we can kind of start getting things figured out. In um, August, I am going to need to um, file a thing for my disability for the government so that they know that I've moved. Um, and I have to fill it out in August for the month of September. It's kind of confusing as, you know. But anyway, um, and I have to, and during the last week of August, I'll have to figure out my daughter's school stuff and switch switch her schools because of the way the school district works uh, where I live. Gonna start to get that figured out and then, yeah, we will go from there. Okay, so. We have packed up two boxes today. Yesterday we went in and um, scheduled the movers for August 25th. And um, so we are about one month away from that date from when the movers get here. So we wanna have everything, mostly everything packed up by then. Um, we still have the decorations on the wall that we need to take down, um, but I, um, I'll show you a little bit about what we did. So we cleared out all of this. Uh, that is um, a dice box book thing that I made with my husband when I was kind of getting into uh, D&D, but didn't end up sticking with it, but I want to keep it because it's really pretty. Um, but that's going to get packed away with our other books. And then we just have these suitcases left out for um, packing up some stuff last minute. So we have taken the things off of the walls. We're gonna pack them up a bit later. Right now they're just kind of piled. Um, I also got rid of um, a bunch of stuff that we don't need, don't use, worn out. 
got rid of all that. Um, there's still some more stuff that we need to get rid of as well. Um, yeah, so right now we have about three boxes packed total. The first box that we packed needs to be filled up just a little bit more before we're fully taping it closed. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna try and keep doing like at least a box a day or something along those lines and we'll see how that goes. So I have this um, cute little box packed up for my daughter's room. Um, got some blankets and a piggy bank in there and then there's also this box. A um, bunch of stuff. She has a lot of blankets so this box is just completely filled um, with that and then I'll show you the progress in the storage room. Okay so this is the box that has all the stuff that was on top of our um, closet in it. Um, this is one that we've had packed up for a while. We just taped it shut and labeled it. Um, and then we have this box that we're going to put in um, fragile stuff. Uh, we have, you know, a few things in there already, but uh, we want to make sure we pack up a bunch more. Um, and then this box is done too, I think. I think this is, yeah, this is like books and stuff. Um as well. We needed two boxes for the books because we have more than we thought we did. Um, and then the last one that we're going to be worrying about is this one. This one is, um, if this will stay open for me, please. There we go. Um, this one's just kind of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I have a um, coloring book in here, which shout out to uh, Life with Justine for said coloring book because I really enjoy it. It's great. Um, we have some games and stuff in there, a notebook. Um, this is like a Naruto thing. It has like, um, oh, I forget what they're called, but kind of like fidget spinners. Uh, kunai. Kunai. That's it. Um, from Naruto that we got for a long time ago. A bunch of other stuff in there. Um, I can fit more in here if it's just kind of thin, kind of like, kind of like more stuff like this. Maybe not quite this thick. This is the dice box I was talking about earlier. It's really pretty. Um, I want to show you the inside of it because it's nice. Um, yeah, those are my dice. I I liked playing D D, but I don't know. I get too anxious because I get too worried that people are going to judge me for my choices. <laughs> so that's why I kind of dropped it. And then here we have some um, kitchen stuff that we're going to be giving away. We don't use that dish rack because we have this one that works really well. Um, don't mind all the dishes and that kind of a mess. <laughs> Uh, and then we have this food dehydrator that we've never used, um, or I think we used it once and, um, it was really messy and like hard to clean and stuff. So we don't use it anymore. And then we have this box. This is just going to be a giveaway box because we don't need it anymore. Um, just a couple of books, my old Bible there, Sims 3 for the Mac, some VHS tapes. We do not have a VHS player. We tried to um, have one. We had one for a bit, but every VHS tape that we put in, um, it just shredded it. So we don't have it anymore. And that's about all we've got done so far. Um, so that will be the end of this vlog. I'm finishing this vlog on August 4th, so it's been a bit. <laughs> um, we've realized that we've um, not packed up enough so we're trying to get back into gear with packing stuff up making sure things are good to go um, and uh, yeah so that is it for this vlog and I hope to see you in the next one bye